Good morning. We are the Shiny Beef team and we're here to represent Italy. Today we're going to show you our application vision. We are for computer science students at the University of Udine. This is Marco Petrucco. He has been in charge of supervising the 3D engine development. This is Mauro De Biasio. His focus has been on human-computer interaction issues. This is Dennis Roman Fulin. He has been supervisor of the communication infrastructure. I'm Andrea Caligaris. I've had to supervise the semantic analyzer engine development. This year's theme is about sustainable environment. But how can we get to a sustainable environment? In 1992 Rio de Janeiro conference, the United Nations declared that to get to a sustainable environment, we must pay attention on environmental education and cultural growth of new generations. During that conference, it had been uh, drafted Agenda 21. A, blue, a comprehensive blueprint of actions to be taken globally, nationally and locally in those areas in which humans impact on uh, the environment. Uh, regarding uh, the environmental impact assessment uh, about governmental uh, decision-making processes on matters concerning environment, in 1998 the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe signed the Convention of Paris. The Convention grants people some rights. The government's duty to make environmental information accessible from as much as possible wide public. Providing that environmental information are accessible, are easily accessible through computer systems. Involve people in uh, environmental project design. On the basis of those purposes, Vision tries to give its contribution. But how do we want to give this contribution? We may begin changing the environment near us in order to improve it. The results are palpable, can be felt immediately. We might be satisfied enough, but we've got another ambition. Technology can directly improve the environment, but the real improvement is achieved when people get better. So, with Vision, we wish to offer a tool that offers the opportunity to change the environment near us and, at the same time, entails a change in people's behavior and thought. In former times, we have always had information, but thanks to printing, we've been able to spread it more effectively. Computer networks exist since a long time, but the new use in a groundbreaking way led to Internet. In the same way as in the past, we use existing technologies to create something new. 
Today we use technologies that are sound and heterogeneous to develop something innovative. Vision is a software that analyzes discussion regarding locations like parks or city blocks and then creates a 3D representation of those areas. Reading and writing about lakes, mountains and forests might be interesting but it's much more amazing to dip ourselves into those environments. Why would we restrict ourselves to read ideas when it's possible to see and touch them? So, we may say that vision is a sort of visual alphabet, and thanks to it, users can see other people's ideas. Using a visual alphabet, is it possible to have a universal dialogue among different cultures and languages. Moreover, an iconographic language allows the tool to be accessible and easily usable by a wide audience. One of the main problems in uh, participatory processes uh, is the visualization of the result of the discussion or the result of the interactions among the different stakeholders, stakeholders or participants of the discussion. Uh, a tool that could be implemented in a way that the participants immediately uh, see the results of the discussion is, uh, could be one of the most effective uh, tools that enlarge and enable the participatory processes. Uh, visualization is uh, a common understanding among different languages. And to see immediately how a scenario, for instance, could change, uh, just giving us an input, uh, I don't know, a different a different choice, object, or uh, implementing a common decision um, will be a tool of the future in the participatory processes that right now doesn't exist. Among the most spread technologies to share ideas, there are the forums. So we've developed Vision in order to let it use any kind of forum, no matter how it's been implemented. Having identified a discussion, Vision comprehends user proposals, identifying key points. Thanks to this data, it creates a 3D world easy to explore. The Vision strength is that it's able to comprehend natural language so it's not necessary to have any kind of familiarity with 3D modeling software. Now my colleagues Marco and Mauro are going to show you how it works. 